been picking rosebuds today. Uh, I thought I'd shoot a video doing a rose tincture since that's what I'm doing today. Got a few picked in here. I already did some and have it sitting in alcohol inside. But I thought, okay, let's go for a little walk, a little adventure, and pick a few wild roses to make tincture out of. Okay, I won't do the whole picking process here, but I will show a few. It's just like picking berries, you know. They're quite mushy right now, still. When they get dried out, you can still use them. Um, they sell them dried out. Okay, I'm going to push pause while I collect from this bush and move inwards a little. Jars get into there. Down low. These ones are a bit a bit older looking. I'll leave those. Fingers get all gooey. Mm, nice, nice smell. It smells like you want to drink it now. You can make pop out of this too. Make it into a syrup and then you go get yourself some carbonated water and you add your syrup of the rose into the carbonated water. I want to yet try that. I've been wanting to try that for a few years. But always forget and get caught up doing other things. Today's pickings. Uh, this jar here that I was just outside showing you, and this jar prior to the video, which is already sitting in alcohol. Um, sometimes, if you can't get them fresh and you go to the store and you gotta buy them, they may look more like this and sound like that. Uh, when they're fresh, My fingers are all cuckered up from it. But you just take them, you put them into the size of jar that you want. You can pull all these off, these little tops. They don't need to be on. But it don't really matter because they get all mushy when you try and pull them off. So if they're not already hardened like this, where you got to put them into your bowl to grind them, I'm only using one hand for just wanting to show. See, you can't squish these guys. You gotta grind them. It's just because I let these this batch sit and dry for a while and then went out and picked some fresh ones today to make a tincture. And then I thought I would do a video to share how to make a tincture with others. And Oh, you can also use the rose buds, which are these, mixed with uh, petals. And this is a petal tincture I got sitting. It's just petals. I haven't added the buds or anything. Um, sometimes I like to do them separate. Sometimes I'll mix the petals with the buds. And these are really good to mix, too, with other tinctures, like this little recipe here, the rosemary, the spearmint, and the rose hips. 
Um, I've put rose hips with rosemary, and you can use like hemp or anything that you need to heal. Um, and feel that you want to mix it with the rose. The rose is a really good friend. Um, my son's actually making a fresh tea right now by using some of the hips that he picked today. He wants to make a fresh tea using it. And you can mix your teas the same as you would with tinctures, you know, with your mints or whatever you may desire. But they're quite buttery. Um, they stick to your fingers like this. And they smell so good. And then in the inside, there's like seeds and stuff. Hey, that you can plant those too if you wanted. Oh, I think I'm just going to add it to the tincture. Okay. Um, rose is really good for the heart, lungs, respiratory. You know, so many health benefits with the rose. Okay, there's the rose tincture. And then you just take your booze. I got some vodka left, so poured it over top. Start a new jar, you know. Same thing, just fill your jar up nicely. You can use, like I said, the ones that are already dried, but it's best off to crush them to open it up and stuff. With this, they're fresh. You don't need to crack them. And taking off the ends, I don't always tend to take off the ends. Just because your fingers look like that. Okay. Have a good one. Put a lid on it. Let sit for six to eight weeks. Shake at least three times a week. Just shake it. Let it do its thing. And then when it comes to filtering and straining it, I tend to use one of these with a jar funnel thing underneath. And if you get a lot of uh, extra cuckers in the bottom, you can use a, um, a paper towel in the inside. And yeah, six to eight weeks, let her sit, shake up to three times a week, you know, or daily if you can. And when you funnel it and want something to store it in, the best thing to do is get yourself some kind of brown bottle. This bottle here will not be used for the rose. I have another one I have to filter out today. Uh, this one's marked Pansy. It's a pansy tincture, which is great if you have epilepsy or epilepsy and symptoms of the nervous disorders and stuff like that. It works good. Um, if you have an animal that has epilepsy, I can't say that word today. Sorry. Okay, but uh, I think I'm still cold from being outside. Anyways, okay, that's about all I have to say about rose tinctures. This one will be filtered out soon, too, of the petals.